What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, according to Samson Likowick, his fighter, the Towering Inferno, the unified WBC WBO world champion, six foot six junior middleweight world champion, Sebastian Fundora, 21 wins, one loss, no, one draw, 13 wins by way of knockout. Sebastian Fundora, he shocked the world back in March when he defeated then WBO junior middleweight undefeated Australian star boxer or superstar boxer in Australia, Tim Zhu, the son of a legend, Costa Zhu. He beat Tim Zhu split decision. It was a ugly, nasty fight. With that said, one Terrence Bud Crawford made himself the mandatory for the WBO title and Sebastian Fundora decided to go a different route where he was expected to vacate the WBO title, not to fight Terrence Crawford, but to fight the man Terrence Crawford just beat in both their last fight, which is Earl the Truth Spence Jr. Now, Terrence Crawford dominated Earl Spence in July 2023. He dropped him three times and stopped him in the ninth round. And out of nowhere, Terrence Crawford petitioned to be the mandatory for Tim Zhu. And obviously, since Tim Zhu was fighting Sebastian Fedora, Terrence Crawford was going to get the winner. But then Errol Spence came out of nowhere, and it was talked about Errol Spence getting the fight with the winner in October. Over Terrence Crawford. And they maneuvered around Terrence Crawford. The WBO president, Mr. Paco, they stood their ground. They said, listen, if Fedora don't fight Terrence Crawford, then he'll be stripped of the belt. Terrence Crawford found another opponent, which is the WBA junior middleweight world champion, undefeated Israel Majumov. And the WBO said, well, the WBO interim title will be on the line. And if Fandora don't want to negotiate in a uh, time frame, timely manner, then he'll be stripped and Terrence Crawford will be elevated to the WBO WBA champion should he beat Israel Majumov. Well, it was expected that he was going to vacate the WBO title and fight Errol Spence. It went from October to November to February. Now to the fight being off altogether. According to Samson Likowit, he's stating that Errol Spence is physically unable to perform and he doesn't have a trainer. And they are expecting if Terrence Crawford to beat Israel Majumov, August 3rd, Los Angeles, California. They want to begin negotiations for a showdown with Terrence Crawford in December. And they want to start negotiations August 5th. And they already reached out to His Excellency, Turkey al Sheikh to start to begin to make this happen. That's huge news for Terrence Bud Crawford. Huge news for Terrence Bud Crawford. Why? Because now Terrence Crawford, can, who's he's looking for an opportunity to fight Canelo Alvarez at 168. Canelo Alvarez historically fights on two dates. Cinco de Mayo weekend, Mexican Independence Day weekend, which happens to be this year, May 5th and September 14th. Uh, but Terrence Crawford is looking for that fight, right? But he can create history in a short time frame and still get the Canelo fight next year. How do you ask? This is how. He can fight... Israel Majumov in August. Then he gets the fight with Sebastian Fundora, beats him in December. Now he holds the WBC, the WBO, and WBA title. Now, keep in mind, Canelo's going to fight in May. If you Terrence Crawford, this is what you do. You say instead of looking to fight Canelo Alvarez in May, you fight Canelo Alvarez in September. Right? You fight Ter uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez in September. Right? Now you can fight Bakram for the IBF title and become the undisputed 154 pound world champion in under a calendar year. And that will make you a three division undisputed world champion and a four division world champion overall your place in history is cemented. And then you have the opportunity to fight Canelo Alvarez, who is the undisputed super middleweight champion, 
and you can become undisputed in four separate weight classes? That's historic. In today's modern time, with four belts, that would be enormous. That's monumental. And it can be done because you see, he can fight, uh, for, he fights Majumov in August. He fights Sebastian Fundora in December. Okay. And then he fights, uh, 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 uh um, uh, Bakram. He fights him. I hope I'm saying his name right. He fights him in, in May, around that May, June time. And then you fight Canelo Alvarez in September. So you get to fight Mataliev, Bakram Mataliev. You fight him in May, right? You fought in December. So you got January, February, March, April, May. You fight, uh, uh Bakram Mataliev in May. You beat him, you the junior middleweight undisputed champion. The junior welterweight, welterweight and junior middleweight. Now you fight Canelo Alvarez in September, Mexican Independence Day weekend for undisputed at 168. That fight is huge at that point in time. And that's a massive legacy fight. Imagine. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, man. But the role for legacy for Terrence Crawford had just widened up. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. And again, hopefully Errol Spence is doing well. Uh, hopefully Errol Spence gets healthy ASAP. Uh, and we see him back in the ring ASAP. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out, man. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>